Hi, Irene Fair of ignitedwoman.com here with, I forget which day of my 30 day video challenge. I wanted to record this very quick video today because I had this realization around touch. Yesterday I went to a talk where a woman presented on the uh, impact that art has on touching us as, as human beings, how um, touching it is, how touching it can be. And it got me really thinking, uh, that word, touch. So in, in the English language, we have the same word for touching someone emotionally or impacting them emotionally as we do through art. And also the same word for physical contact as in touching someone physically. And it got me really thinking that that is no coincidence that it's the same word because human touch is a basic human need. A basic human need that I know in the US, we are almost deathly afraid of, of getting touched, of, of having human contact with other people. Um, we don't ask for it, we don't, um, we're scared of it, we push it away. Um, we, 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 we look for this, this personal space around us that's really about um, avoiding touch. Yet how profoundly important it is for us and also how profoundly moving or impactful it is. That human touch has the capacity to not only affect us physically through physical contact, it also has the ability to touch us emotionally and spiritually. The human touch has both components and it's critical to our well-being on both levels. And so it's one of the things that I help create my help my clients create more of in their lives so that they can get the nourishment that they need from touch both on the physical level and on the emotional level. And I used to get that intuitively and really by thinking around this word of what does this word touch really mean I really allowed me to frame this in a different way, even for myself, of how important it is for our well-being, for our nourishment, and for our health, for our human health. So that's my insight of the day in this really short video. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you tomorrow.